Last week, we ranked the top 20 best rides at Disney California Adventure, but that was just half of the resort's offerings. Disneyland Park offers a whole nother level of thrilling, chilling, and immersive experiences. With over 35 rides alone in this one park, I knew I was going to have to leave a few attractions out. Honorable mentions include the Main Street Vehicles, Astro Over There, Pinocchio's Daring Journey, and so on. Anyway, we have a lot to cover in this video, so these are my opinions on the top 20 best rides at Disneyland Park. Number 20, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland got a refurb a few years back, which saw the addition of many changes to the ride. While I personally haven't ridden the reimagined attraction, by the looks of it, it looks like a family favorite. And while kind of pointless, the two-story aspect of the ride is pretty unique, and it's not like there's no theming up there. So yeah, Alice in Wonderland is definitely acceptable at the park. Number 19, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. For some reason, Mr. Toad just seems faster than all the other Fantasy Lane Dark Rides, which may be due to the fast transitions between showrooms. Oh yeah, you also go to hell at the end of the ride. So now that Snow White's Scary Adventures is gone, this is pretty much the ride that will scare your kids away from the park. Number 18, Peter Pan's Flight. So the ride, yeah, it's pretty short, but does it really need to be any longer? The Imagineers did a great job immersing you into the story of Peter Pan, and it really shows every important event from the movie. The lines this ride can get on the other hand are pretty ridiculous, although for my one and only ride, I found myself having a great time. Number 17, Autopia. Autopia really only makes the list because of its renovated update back in 2017. The storyline is much clearer now, showcasing funny detailed scenes through your journey. The scenery while driving through the trees is visually impressive, and it can really feel like you're driving a rear vehicle, especially if you're a younger kid. Number 16, It's a Small World. Come on guys, who doesn't love 15 whole minutes of- But in all seriousness, It's a Small World is a Disneyland classic that will never get old. It's a fairly relaxing ride, and if you're an animatronic seeker, it's definitely worth the experience. Number 15, Jungle Cruise. If you ever ran Jungle Cruise at night, what are you doing? You're missing out. A night ride on Jungle Cruise feels like a whole nother experience, and it's way more immersive. At night, the skippers will now use flashlights to guide your journey, and it seriously feels like you're way more in the jungle. Number 14, Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. So Buzz Lightyear definitely isn't a very special experience, although I do love shooting rides, which is probably the only reason Buzz is even on this list. In fact, the shooting that I got last time on the ride didn't even work correctly, but as for the time as it has, this ride can be really enjoyable, especially with the spinning aspect of the ride. Number 13, The Many Adventures in Way the Pooh. Fun fact, this actually used to be my favorite ride at the park, and although it's definitely dropped down, I can still find it super enjoyable, even to the point where I'll take it over all the other Fantasyland dark rides. There's just something about this certain charm that keeps me attached to this ride. Number 12, Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin. The perfect explanation for this ride would be if you took Buzz Lightyear, removed the shooting guns, and cranked up the craziness. Roger Rabbit is a super wealthy attraction, with arguably the best queue line in the park. You have the choice to spin your vehicle as fast as you want for a more intense experience, or gradual to take in the surroundings. And just because it's located in Toontown, it's definitely not just a kid's ride. Number 11, Star Tours The Adventure Continues. After Millennium Falcon opened, Star Tours placement in the park didn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, after riding again for the first time in many years, my opinion has changed, and I really hope they don't tear this ride down, or replace it with another attraction. Some moments on the ride, including the hyperspace jumps, are much more immersive and better done than the Smuggler's Run, and overall, it's a very funny and well-done experience. Number 10, Matherhorn Bobsleds. Matherhorn isn't just the world-famous attraction in Disneyland, but it's also a big part of coaster history, as it was the first roller coaster to use a tubular steel track system. Not only this, but the ride experience, especially the Tomorrowland side, goes way out of control, and it's probably the closest experience I'll ever have to riding a real bobsled. Number 9, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. If there's one ride that gives you airtime at Disneyland Park, it has to be Big Thunder Mountain. Seriously, some of these hills can be pretty violent for Disneyland, and you'll experience them along the course, with some decent forces and three left hills. Not even the actual ride, but the theming is what really does it for me. It's basically one big ghost town, and it's truly amazing. Number 8, Space Mountain. This is a pretty iconic coaster as it is, and it seems like everyone knows about it, if not at Disneyland, then at least at one of Disney's various theme parks. The whole ride takes place in almost complete darkness, but with a few stars illuminating the sky. This gives another crazy out control experience, as you really have no idea what's coming next. Number 7, Pirates of the Caribbean. Aside from the ride's two initial drops, Pirates is a relaxing ride that will take you up close and personal with the amazing set pieces and animatronics. And if you're lucky enough, the actor of Jack Sparrow himself, Johnny Depp, might even make a special appearance on your ride. Number 6, Haunted Mansion. As people say, you're either a Pirates or a Haunted Mansion fan. And for this case, I'm definitely a Haunted Mansion fan. The ride does a great job from the moment you enter the queue line all the way until the ride's exit. There's plenty of animatronics for all of you animatronic seekers, 
and if you're just a horror fan in general, I can almost guarantee you'll love Haunted Mansion as much as I do. Number 5. Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run When the ride first opened back in 2019, this was the ticket attraction in Galaxy's Edge, and it really showed off. That clip you just saw was 4 months after the ride opened, and it was still packed as ever. Lucky for us on our most recent visit, the ride was a complete walk-on, which allowed us to get a few more rides, and therefore have a better idea on what the ride accomplishes. The first thing I noticed is that riding Millennium Falcon multiple times is definitely the way to go. Just like an SNS 4D freespin, your ride can change drastically depending on how good or bad your crew is. The ride's also super immersive, showcasing great storytelling, and although no longer the best ride in Galaxy's Edge, it will always be a modern fan favorite. Number 4. Indiana Jones Temple of the Forbidden Eye Indiana Jones creates an incredible ride experience, and something only found in Disneyland Park. Sure, Dinosaur Animal Kingdom is essentially the same ride, but there's something about all those theming aspects that make it that much better. Of course, when thinking of this ride, I can't help but picture that epic finale that feels like you've been taken straight into the famous boulder scene from Raiders of Lost Ark. Even besides this, the ride is fairly aggressive, and it's definitely something you won't want to miss. Number 3. Haunted Mansion Holiday Despite this being the exact same ride as Haunted Mansion, for the purposes of this video, I'll be considering the Halloween overlay a different attraction, and a much better one than the original ride. I may just be biased to the Nightmare Before Christmas theme, but before my rewrite a month ago, this had been ranked as my favorite attraction in the whole resort. Obviously, while it isn't anymore, I still have ranked super high on this list. There's just something about all those added props and different soundtrack that make Haunted Mansion Holiday a super enjoyable experience. Number 2. Splash Mountain if you watch my Disneyland vlog, or the video where I rank my top favorite log flumes, you already know I love Splash Mountain with all my heart. I could go on for hours talking about how good this ride is, so here's a little bit of that. The animatronics are killer, the soundtrack is a masterpiece, the thrill level is just right, the water level is perfect, and the theme is outstanding from the moment you lay your eyes on the ride. Now, I know there's no way of getting out of the Princess and the Frog re-theme, so I'm just really hoping that won't happen for a while, and that the best log flume in the world will stay around for a bit longer. Number 1. Star Wars Rise of the Resistance While I unfortunately missed out on receiving the boarding pass for Rise, it seems like everyone believes this is truly the best out of the best. So instead of leaving the ride out, I've brought on Penguin Theater Parks to speak about what he thinks of the ride. Hi there! I think the general agreement that we all have is that Rise of the Resistance is a great example of what Imagineers can accomplish when given creative control. This attraction uses many different ride systems to bring you into your own Star Wars story. It's great for the whole family, and that's why it's at the number one spot. As you can imagine, I'm super bummed that I didn't get to ride, and it seems like everyone has experienced it but me. Although there's always next time, and hopefully by then these boarding passes won't be such a hassle to get. Well, now you know how I rank the top 20 best rides at Disneyland Park. If you found yourself enjoying the content in any way, please consider liking the video, and subscribing if you haven't already. And like always, thank you all so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the front row.